Hi, it's Katrina. From snakes that are quick to attack to a legendary man-eating tiger, here are 10 of the deadliest animals in Asia. Number 10. Saw-Scaled Viper Ranking as one of India's big four dangerous snakes, saw-scaled vipers come from the Echis genus, which consists of 12 species. The largest of these relatively small reptiles are usually no more than 35 inches long, and the smallest species measure just a foot long at the most. While most snakes avoid humans, including many highly venomous species, the saw-scaled viper is quick to attack. This isn't surprising that they are dangerous, given the creature's tendency to live in areas with dense human populations, as well as its camouflaging abilities, which make it easy for people to accidentally encounter one. The snake's venom causes profuse bleeding and necrosis, or tissue death, often resulting in the amputation of fingers or toes. To avoid this consequence, it is imperative for victims to seek medical treatment immediately. Even more alarming, the saw-scaled viper's bite can be lethal, and the creature is thought to be associated with the most snake bite cases throughout the world. Researchers are now learning that venom varies significantly across saw-scaled viper species, perhaps due to the differing diets across the snake's range and throughout their lifetimes. Experts admittedly know little and have a lot to learn about these snakes. However threatening the saw-scaled viper may seem, it suffers more at the hands of human beings than the other way around. Habitat-destroying activities, such as construction, often drive out entire populations of the snakes, leaving some researchers to wonder if they'll even get a chance to thoroughly study saw-scaled vipers before most of them disappear. Number 9. Mugger Crocodile The mugger, or marsh crocodile, is a medium-sized freshwater crocodilian species native to habitats ranging from southern Iran to the Indian subcontinent, as well as Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Pakistan. Populations that once existed in Bhutan and Myanmar are now extinct. The most common out of the three crocodile species that inhabit India, muggers are typically found in lakes, rivers, streams, and artificial ponds, where they feed on fish, snakes, turtles, and small mammals. They also occasionally attack humans and livestock, killing many people in India every year. In 2014, a spate of three fatal attacks on humans by mugger crocodiles, suspected to result from females becoming overly aggressive during mating season, prompted government officials to issue safety warnings about the creature, urging locals to avoid areas where the animals are known to nest, and to avoid going near riverbanks and other freshwater bodies, especially at night. Generally speaking, when a mugger crocodile decides to attack a human, it drags its victim into water and drowns them, but rarely consumes the person. One of the main reasons muggers pose a heightened threat to humans is that they live in close proximity with us, making encounters far more likely than with species that prefer more sparsely populated habitats. And now for number 8, but first be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know your favorite animal in the comments below. Number 8. Sloth Bear Native to the Indian subcontinent, sloth bears are a small to medium sized bear that feeds mostly on termites and ants making them unique in this regard compared to other bears. Measuring just 4.5 to 6 feet long and weighing up to 420 pounds, sloth bears can undoubtedly cause some damage, but they are hardly considered large in the bear world. At first glance, they even look gentle, and their insectivorous diet makes them seem even more harmless. But these solitary and nocturnal creatures, who experts believe are highly intelligent, have a reputation for being aggressive and are capable of great damage, especially with their sharp, long, sickle-shaped claws and their strong, gripping bite. Just because they eat insects doesn't mean that they can't defend themselves. Sloth bears are even known to fight tigers, with one park official recounting to Smithsonian Magazine an incident where one sloth bear effortlessly scared three tigers off in separate directions. Humans are certainly no exception to the sloth bear's tendency to attack, and sloth bears often cut right to the chase by striking their victim in the head. Encounters that could have otherwise been avoided usually result from human and bear populations living in close proximity to one another. The moment a sloth bear feels threatened, it wastes no time responding to the offender. Mothers are particularly prone to aggression, triggered by the instinctive urge to protect their cubs. Number 7. Fat Tail Scorpion 18 of the world's most aggressive and dangerous scorpion species, known as fat-tailed scorpions, come from the Androctonus genus. 
Some species are found in arid and semi-arid habitats throughout a small portion of Southeast Asia, where they attack and try to kill practically any creature that is smaller than them. Typically ranging between 3.1 and 3.9 inches long, fat-tailed scorpions possess an unusually thick tail, as their name indicates, and are equipped with extremely dangerous, potent venom that's potentially fatal to humans, causing several deaths every year. Filled with powerful neurotoxins, the scorpion's venom attacks the central nervous system, causing deadly side effects such as respiratory failure and paralysis. Shockingly, fat-tailed scorpions are popular in the exotic pet trade, despite the obvious risks associated with handling one. Thankfully, whether someone hurts themselves by needlessly keeping one of these creatures as a pet, or maybe by no fault of their own through an accidental encounter, there is an anti-venom. Number 6. Asian Giant Hornet Nicknamed the murder hornet, the Asian giant hornet is the world's largest hornet species, reaching nearly 2 inches in length. And those things are thick. Native to East Asia and Japan, murder hornets are known for destroying honeybee colonies, as well as for their toxic, potentially deadly venom, which is delivered to victims via a quarter-inch long stinger, often piercing protective clothing that is impenetrable to other stinging insects. Stings are excruciating, with the venom consisting of a combination of cytotoxins, which cause tissue damage, and neurotoxins. Symptoms include pain, swelling, and organ damage from dangerous chemicals, particularly those that are harmful to the kidneys and can cause renal failure. Surprisingly, the venom itself is not nearly as deadly or dangerous as that of the honeybee, but murder hornets can administer far more of the substance and are capable of stinging repeatedly, making them much more hazardous to humans than honeybees and some other creatures with arguably more fatal concoctions at their disposal. Honeybees have trouble penetrating the thick outer layer of the hornet, so they are unable to fight back. Their venom isn't really effective at all. One Japanese giant hornet can kill 40 bees a minute by slicing them apart with its jaws. A small swarm of them can kill a whole hive of 30,000 bees in just a couple hours. So Japanese honeybees have come up with a way to defend themselves. Instead of trying to sting them, they will swarm around the hornet and start to vibrate to raise the temperature around the hornet until it gets too hot and dies, basically like a big hug from a hot oven. Unfortunately, European honeybees have not learned how to do this. An estimated 30 to 50 people die each year in Japan from murder hornet stings, according to a National Geographic interview with biologist Justin Schmidt, who studies the species. But most of these deaths are from anaphylactic allergic reactions, rather than acute toxicity. The good news is that murder hornets are extremely unlikely to attack humans out of nowhere. They usually only become aggressive when provoked, meaning that keeping a safe distance between ourselves and them is all it usually takes to avoid a sting. But the future of honeybees, which was already threatened due to numerous other factors, remains even further at risk of extinction due to these marauding creatures. Number 5. Asiatic Lion the small Asiatic lion population found in modern-day India's Gur National Park once extended throughout much of Western Asia and the Middle East. Slightly smaller than the African lion subspecies, Asiatic lions reach up to 9.7 feet long and weigh between 240 and 420 pounds. They run incredibly fast and prefer large prey, occasionally including humans. While it's rare for Asiatic lions to attack people, it's not unheard of. In June 2016, a male lion was sentenced to life at a zoo after a series of fatal encounters in the state of Gujarat were traced directly back to him. To determine exactly who the culprit was behind the six attacks, all which occurred during the first half of 2016, authorities captured the entire pride of 17 lions that appeared to be connected with the tragedies. They tested the animal's feces and discovered human hair in the waist of one particular lion. Two other lions were held for continued monitoring for their suspected roles in the deaths, while the rest of the pride was released back into its natural habitat. One possible reason for the unusual behavior is that the lions became hungry amid a population boom in the Gir Forest. At the time, the population numbered around 532, nearly double the park's capacity of 300. Consequently, lions were pushed out into nearby villages, where unsuspecting laborers slept out in the open during hot weather, and the spillover of big cats into civilian territory unsurprisingly led to violence. These cats unfortunately are highly endangered, but don't really have the space to spread out. 
Number 4. Vietnamese Centipede Known by many names, including the Red-Headed Centipede, Orange-Legged Centipede, and Jungle Centipede, the Vietnamese Centipede is found on virtually all territories in and around the Indian Ocean, including all of Asia's tropical and subtropical regions. With a length of around 8 inches, the widely distributed creature is the largest centipede species. More intimidating than the centipede's size is its attitude. Vietnamese centipedes are aggressive and willing to attack, opportunistically preying on pretty much any animal it can overpower. These naturally nervous creatures are always on guard, paying attention to nearby vibrations and remaining prepared to attack at a fraction of a moment's notice. They are fierce fighters, wrapping their legs around their opponent while sinking their venomous jaws into the unfortunate target, which includes bats, mice, and anything else weird and gross you can think of. Bites are extremely painful, including for us humans, and often lead to severe swelling, and in some cases, even worse symptoms. While there are no recorded instances of death by centipede bite, it's rumored that at least one person has perished at the Vietnamese centipede's mercy. Number 3. The Komodo Dragon The world's largest lizard, the Komodo Dragon, can reach over 10 feet long and weigh as much as 350 pounds, eating up to 80% of its own body weight in one sitting. Historians believe that rumors of these giant beasts spread by early sailors gave some fragment of truth to legends of dragons. Endemic to the Indonesian archipelago, the species has no natural predators, which may be how it evolved to its current enormous size, and it eats basically any creature that crosses its path and seems appetizing, including animals as large as water buffalo. Komodo dragons, which are capable of smelling blood and death from nearly six miles away, attack by clamping their powerful jaws down on their victims, sinking their serrated teeth in and mobilizing a bite and pull motion causing venom to ooze into the prey's wounds. It's not the most efficient way to deliver toxins, but it gets the job done. And even when a victim escapes the lizard's grasp, they are too weak to fight back and collapse and die shortly after. The venomous properties of the Komodo dragon's saliva were discovered in 2009, when University of Melbourne venom researcher Brian Fry and his colleagues analyzed the substance's biochemistry. They determined that the creature's venom contains numerous compounds, causing expedited blood loss, a rapid decrease in blood pressure, and shock. Attacks on humans are rare, but they do happen, especially amid increased tourism to the Komodo dragon's natural habitat. The first human fatality at the hands of a Komodo dragon in 33 years happened in 2007, when one of the giant lizards killed an 8-year-old boy. At least one other death has happened since then. Number 2. Indian Rhinoceros Found throughout parts of Nepal and northern India, the Indian rhinoceros is both massive and fast. It's the world's second largest rhino species and the second biggest terrestrial animal in Asia, reaching a head and body length of up to 12 and a half feet, with males weighing around 4,850 pounds on average and females weighing roughly 3,530 pounds. Indian rhinos can charge forth at up to 30 miles per hour. They carry their weight well, jumping and changing directions skillfully and instantaneously, despite their imposing size. The species is herbivorous, feasting mainly on grass, fruit, leaves, and sometimes farm crops. Despite its vegetarian diet, however, the Indian rhinoceros is a force to be reckoned with. Equipped with poor eyesight, the animals are quick to become aggressive in response to even the slightest perceived threat. But they have far more of a reason to fear humans than the other way around. The only predators Indian rhinos really have to worry about in the wild are big cats and humans, the latter of which nearly hunted them to extinction for their horns before the species was protected. The World Wildlife Fund calls the greater one-horned rhino one of Asia's biggest success stories, with their status improving from endangered to vulnerable as their population increases. However, they are still threatened by poaching for their horns and habitat loss. Number 1. Bengal Tiger Bengal tigers are one of five tiger subspecies, which collectively represent the world's largest big cats. The species dwells in tropical, subtropical, and temperate forests in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Bhutan. Adult males typically grow between 9 and 10 feet long, standing between 3 and 3.5 three and feet off the ground, and weighing anywhere from 397 to 569 pounds. 
The largest Bengal tiger ever recorded, a male who was hunted in Uttar Pradesh, India in 1967, measured 11 feet long and weighed 857 pounds. Bengals also have the largest canine teeth of all big cats, measuring between 3 and 4 inches from the gum line. If you haven't realized it by now, the species is more than capable of holding its own and inflicting great damage upon its adversaries and prey. These solitary hunters typically feast on large mammals, including buffalo, deer, and wild pigs. It's rare for Bengal tigers to devour humans. In fact, they tend to avoid us when possible and tread through the forest very quietly. But it's important for people to exercise caution in areas with known populations of the species. Attacks do happen, even though they are unlikely. And every now and then, a Bengal tiger seems to develop a particular taste for humans. A famous killer was the man-eater of Champawat, who is believed to have eaten 436 humans along the border of Nepal and India in the early 1900s. It is said that the tiger ceased to behave like a tiger at all. This story reached almost mythical proportions, with perhaps no creature hunting humans to this scale before or since. Scientists believe that the tigers change their behavior when they cannot hunt normally due to sickness or some other abnormality, or in areas where natural prey are lacking. Thanks for watching! Which animal was your favorite? Is there any animal that scares you? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!